wet, some areas staying dry. Overall, pretty nice day though, right? Let's send it over now to 7 First Alert meteorologist Mike, Ta Mike Taylor with more. Hey, Mike. Uh, that's right, guys. It really depends on where you're located, too. Right here in downtown Detroit in the Southfield area, we have mostly cloudy conditions and some sunshine. But if you're to the north, say around Port Huron or north of I-69, I M-59 corridor, you've been dealing with some clouds and also some showers. Uh, the damage is done here. You notice this bullseye, this ribbon here in the mid-Atlantic through not only Pennsylvania and also near Philly, but also through the eastern shore near Maryland. Uh, they picked up about six to eight inches of rainfall. Notice all the reports from flooding, 45 and now this same storm system's moving up the coast still at 65 mile per hour winds. And look at the speed, north northeast of 40 miles per hour, so it's not taking any time. It is really moving quickly, and that's actually working in our favor. It's going across the country boundary there. It's going to cross over into Canada pretty soon, and they'll be dealing with what's left of this system as it turns into a tropical depression. Here back at home, a few showers like I was mentioning along M59 and points north, but to the south, Detroit's at 75. On the opposite end of that, Port Huron's at 63 and that's because of the clouds and also the showers. A lot of the rain is going to eventually get out of here. We'll clear things up, but here's the key. The muggy meter has dropped with dew points in the 50s. Uh, we're going to have that fall feel. Anytime you have a dry air mass like this, it allows you to cool down. The humidity will come back as we get towards Sunday, and that's when we'll start to warm up as well. For the rest of this evening, temperatures will stay into the 70s. For tonight, we're down to 57, uh, decreasing clouds after midnight, and I'm thinking it's going to be cooler outside of the city. A few of us could actually fall into the upper 40s and low 50s for tomorrow morning. 76 would be the high temp. Lots of sunshine, but mild again, below average for this time of year. And as we jump ahead into your Thursday, not a whole lot of change, just a little bit milder as you get towards the morning. We climb up throughout the 70s, but the fall fill continues. The seven day forecast brings about the real change here. A great stretch of weather will change back into summer, so the fall arrival is only temporary. Uh, we go right back to summertime weather with temperatures going back into the 80s, even the upper 80s by Sunday. A few chances of seeing some storms on Sunday as well. Yeah, looking forward to that weekend. Those temperatures are looking nice. Mike, thank you.